Hello. Hi guys, this is Max's four week or one month update. So Max's update, yeah, I thought I'd just do a four week or one month, whatever I call it, thing. Hey. Yeah. Update. And his weight at the four week mark was 4.66 kilos. So he's put on like another 200 grams from last week. His biggest growth at the moment was almost half a kilo between week two and three though. So he was born 3.7 kilos so, and now he's 4.6. So he's almost, he's almost put on a kilo, that's insane. Um, and he is 56 and a half centimeters long. He's still wearing size four zeros, which is the smallest size in Australia. He definitely, like I can see like his legs curling up a bit, <laughs> depending upon where it sits on him. He could probably go to the three zero, definitely, but um, I just haven't bothered putting on there, him yet because we don't have a lot of clothes altogether anyway. And nappies, he's, I'm definitely using infant, which is like the four to eight kilo ones overnight. But I still have a whole bunch of um, Huggies newborn nappies and um, the Woolies brand as well. I still have a whole bunch to use, so yeah, I'm trying to use them too. This um, in this last week, I've noticed him like making a lot more eye contact and um, still not like all 100% of the time, but more than he was. He used to sort of look through you or look past you, but now he's sort of looking at you and he's trying to talk. So that's pretty sweet. And back onto the nappies, I've got a funny story to tell you. Um, of course, a rookie first time boy mum nappy story. Uh, yeah, I was changing him half in the dark and I just, I forgot to point. If you've got a boy, you'd know. You've got to point their willy or what, penis, whatever you want to call it, downwards when you're doing up the nappy because otherwise it starts to, it leaks when they pee because it's facing upwards or it's sort of gets caught and that you all get wet anyway so he was probably going to do a great sleep but then he woke up um one night totally saturated and thank god my brain turned on and i was like oh i've put his penis the wrong way so he got yeah he got totally saturated so i don't know how long he'd been lying in his own pee for but hopefully i don't forget and make that mistake again it's something i know that you got to do but i've just yeah. he's sleeping awesome overnight at the moment <coughs> You try and sneeze with you. That was half a sneeze. He's sleeping awesome overnight. He's doing um, he's doing a, a longer stint, like from six or seven to like 12, 1, 2 a.m. Um, so he's doing like, yeah, a six or seven hour stint at the moment, which is great. Except I'm not getting to bed early, which is bad. So, um, I'm not feeling like super perky uh, because I've still got to express and do the dishes and I'm doing a lot of the nighttime stuff by myself um, because hubby is so busy with work so and yeah if you're interested I will have a day in the life up um, I don't know when but it was done at three three and a half weeks along um, but yes I plan to be getting that up as well but yeah I'm just yeah he's doing super well he's moved from feeding and sleeping all over the place to his daytime sleeps not so great they're probably more like for 40 minutes sometimes 20 sometimes yeah and i'm trying to get him to self settle um in his cot with by helping him but sometimes he hates that and it's just not working of course they hate it um but he really does love sleeping on the go and um like in the car like he'll fall asleep and you can just carry the capsule and put it in a trolley yeah so i am so glad he's sleeping overnight is going well so yeah he'll sleep a longer stint six seven hours then he'll like some nights he'll wake up say one three and then six which is when the sun's up or um other times it'll be more like two and four and then the sun up or there's been the occasional like last night he did seven 7 seven thirty was his last feed and when he sort of fed to sleep until like what time was it four o'clock in the morning so that was amazing um unfortunately i didn't get there till like 11. again this is my problem and fault <laughs> um and yeah it's just i really need some downtime at night even though i'm exhausted it's 
yeah but yeah he's doing well and yeah over the last month yeah no problems from when we went to had to go to special care nursery he's gone from that sleepy newborn stage between two and three weeks to having a little bit more alert time he's definitely a happy baby and he only really cries obviously if he's tired or he doesn't even really cry that bad if he's hungry because he sort of cries when he wakes up so I guess that's crying for you hungry but no he's got a definitely a gentle um yeah gentle nature and yeah no first smiles yet but um I think my kids didn't smile till four or to eight uh, sorry six to eight weeks um so who knows that when that will happen hey and yeah daytime sleep self-settling was sort of going all right and now it's sort of getting chucked in the bin a bit um, but he's a third kid so he has to sort of sleep on the go a bit too um, and other times you know I you know I wear him and stuff but he's not really a fan of being baby worn to sleep if that makes sense like he doesn't mind falling asleep on you but not in a baby carrier so and I think that's all I have to say about his four week one month update um I'll show you him again hey hey buddy that's you you're getting long and his eye color might where's your focus yeah his eye color still sort of sorting still sort of sorting out what sort of eye color he's gonna have hey you're a beautiful bub who's a beautiful calm bub <laughs> but yeah um yeah so i'm really happy with how he's doing and feeding or someone last thing i didn't touch on was feeding and he um yeah he's going well with the bottle he'll have anywhere between 100 and 200 mils usually around 120 at the moment give or take sometimes they're 170 it just depends um and he's still feeding from the breast like breastfeeding he's got a really good latch as I might have said like once or twice a day and he is having about 200 mils of expressed breast milk a day as well um, which is all that I'm about expressing at the moment um, and who knows how much he's actually feeding from me maybe another 50 or something I don't know but yeah so that's all I have to say about him and his one month update I'm unsure if I'm going to keep doing weekly, like the most I would do weekly updates would be till 12 weeks, but if I don't, then I would definitely be doing monthly updates regardless. So if I change my mind, I'm not doing two month, three month instead of this weekly update for him. And as for me, um, I will be doing maybe monthly updates, but I'm going to be doing um, my post baby weight loss. So I'll be doing weekly yeah, I'll be doing weekly updates on my wait list. So um, if you're interested, definitely look out for those videos because um, yeah, I definitely am pretty motivated and I am sticking to it till I get to where I want to be. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And if you've got any tips for losing the baby weight or any tips for little one month olds or you can identify with what I'm saying because you've got a one month old as well. Please leave um, your comments in the section below and we'll see you for our next update. Bye.